All right, guys, welcome to another episode of our show, How Did I Get Here, where I talk to my doctor friends about, you know, how they got into medicine, what medicine means to them, and where they're headed next. Today, I have my very good friend here. Hi. Uh, if he was going on, brother. I'm fine. How are All you? All right, look at those guns, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... um. Uh, typically what we do with most of these uh, episodes is just to try to backtrack, mm -hmm. uh, talk about your origin, talk mm -hmm. about how you ended up you know, in medicine and mm -hmm. you know, what medicine means to you and some of the very landmark steps mm -hmm. along the way. Um, mm -hmm. So we'll start mm -hmm. from, I know where you're from but for right. everybody out there who doesn't know where you're from, right. do you want to tell them? Okay, so my name is um, Ifani Chukwu David Onokogo. Um, I'm originally from Nigeria. Um, <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm, I came to the U.S. Uh, more than 10 years ago, roughly about 12, 13, mm -hmm. um, right mm -hmm. after high school. Mm -hmm. So I did undergrad here, medical school, uh, and the whole journey. Okay, there. so it's, it's important because I, I know uh, I've, from the previous episode, I, I've talked about how some of the steps that I the journey really for me, right. you know, being from Nigeria, same mm -hmm. same country, mm -hmm. um, having done most of my school in Nigeria and eventually mm -hmm. ended up in the Caribbean and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, mm -hmm. So for you, you did high school in, in Nigeria. What yes. part of Nigeria did you do high school in? Uh, so well, first, I'm what part of Nigeria are you from specifically? I'm from Eastern Nigeria, okay. Imo State in yes. particular. Imo. Um, Imo. All right, let's do it. Yeah, so, um, so I did high school there. High school, I finished high school, took the entrance exam into college. Yeah. Um, I didn't get to see my result. Uh, okay. Then I got the visa to come to US. All right. And I was super excited. I ignored my result. I came out. <laughs> but did you need that? Did you need that to get into college here in the US? No. You had to do some other things. Yes. Afresh here. Yes. So um, at that point. Did you know you wanted to be a doctor or did you already decide you wanted to be? Actually, at that point, I was sure that I did not want to be a doctor. For real? Yes. Oh my god, you know like many of us who I wanted to sure become doctors from the be womb. A <laughs> For real? Yes. Okay, interesting. No, because well, in, in elementary school, high school, I'm very good in math. Okay. So I'm very good in calculation. I'm, I was very good in physics. Oh, interesting. Uh, biology was my all the weakest. Sub, all the subjects that I, I despise. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm, biology was I'm, your weakest. Biology was my weakest. For real? Oh Absolutely. my. Because sides. to me, I felt like mathematics makes sense. It does. One plus one is two, two anywhere. No one can trick you about that. You can't get that wrong. <laughs> so if something doesn't have like... Uh, like uh, an absolute result, right. I don't really entertain it in my mind. Interesting. I don't, yeah. So what, what made the shift for you? When did you make that shift? So, uh, like after I immigrated to the US, I started pursuing a career in engineering. Okay. Because I figured math, physics, goes yeah. engineering, Basically, why not? Yeah. Yeah. And also I was very good in computer. I'm okay. good with programming, yeah, computer okay. programming and okay. stuff. So I wanted to combine my talent in math, physics, with my talent in programming. Okay. And hopefully to get into technology world. Right? Oh, interesting. Well, that's so a lot to, of money to go into these days. Exactly. Right. You know? So to go into electronics, yeah. to go into um, developing applications, all to right. go into all that stuff. So those were very fascinating for me. Um, then I started hanging out with friends who were smarter than I thought I was. Oh yeah, you know, so. it's a revelation <laughs> for many of us, right? You almost think you you're know? the bomb, you know, to meet people who are just as smart, right? So I had friends who were just into medicine. I've never seen that kind of mind before. Wow. Uh, uh, this particular friend was always, every minute of the day, talking about medicine, talking about surgical procedures, talking about uh, biology, you know, and stuff. So I started picking interest. Oh wow. You know, so I started going online on my own time. I'll pull up videos from YouTube. Oh yeah. And I'll watch videos and from there I developed a huge strong community. At this point were you already in college or Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. I, so I was what, I was already what, what, in what were you doing in college at the time? So after I came to US I started with um, 
with a two-year college, okay. which I only did one year out of because I wanted to do the necessary courses yeah. before I transferred to four to four to four year college. Okay, that's that like way a, I saved an associate time. degree, is, yes. is that correct? Yes. Okay, okay. Right. So that way I saved time rather than taking oh, things okay. that I don't need. And then I was taking science courses at that stage. Okay. You know, which most of the those courses were transferable. Okay. And I could use those courses for any science course. That right. I wanted to do, not okay. just specifically for physics. So it was but, you yeah. could have gone into engineering from there. You could have gone into medicine even from there. there. Yeah. Oh, brilliant! That, that's yeah. a smart, you know, for for people yes. in that, that stage of yeah. their life now. It's, yeah. it's pretty yeah. smart because yeah. it's always better to start whatever thing. Like I, I know a lot of friends that get into college without a definite goal of what course that they want to study or mm -hmm. where they want to land mm -hmm. at the end of their uh, time in college. Yeah. And my advice for them has always been, you gotta start off broad. Okay. Right? So if you know it's science that you wanna do, start off with science courses, not right. right? just deep focusing on biology alone. Okay. Do Spread it out first, a little bit. Exactly. Do the first year of physics, first year of chemistry, first year of biology. Mm -hmm. That way, you get a chance to explore different areas okay. and figure out where you have the strongest. All right, so you met this friend who was always talking about medicine instead of picking up interest. When did it when did it become clear to you that wow, this is this most likely is what I'm going to end up doing? So at at that point, I I uh, I was hanging out with him a lot. He was okay. like a best friend. He's still Good, a best yeah. friend. Yeah, yeah. So we'll hang out a lot. We'll talk about medicine. Mm. He will always talk about. Uh, um, how this procedure and that procedure and mm -hmm. this and that and from there I switched my courses I started taking classes All in, right. biology. in biology okay cool. you know then from there uh, at that time I haven't declared specifically that I was going for engineering or okay. biology okay so I, I, I did then decided to make that path into biology to, okay. to initiate that path. Okay. okay. And did you feel when you eventually realized, okay, you know what, I might be going into medicine, what were some of the, you know, for everything anybody does, you tend to find a reason mm -hmm. to want to do it. You know, mm -hmm. what were some of those reasons for you? What What did it mean to you when you were just trying to get yourself into that? Because for somebody who started off with, you know, being a right. kid, wanting to right. be a doctor, yeah. there's so many other, it's a different set yeah. of reasons. Yeah. You know, sometimes about, yeah. Role modeling yeah. as well, you know, yeah. the prestige and all yeah. that stuff. But yeah. at this stage, you were obviously an adult yeah. that decided, you know, what well, yeah. I'm going to switch from yeah. wanting to be an engineer yeah. to yeah. being a doctor. Yeah. What were some of those reasons for you? So, at first, uh, my reason for engineering, at first, before I talk about medicine, yeah. my reason for engineering was aside from my proficiency in math yeah. and all those arithmetic courses, mm -hmm. right? But my major reason was I had a brother who was one of my favorite. Okay. And I thought he was the smartest person, person in, the world, in the world. Right? <laughs> Every one of us had <laughs> Which is good, person, it's good, you know? it's a good thing. And he was uh he was an engineer. Yeah. He's still an engineer, yeah. sorry. And um he he was very smart. He would develop like generators from the scratch. Wow. He, wow. he would build a lot of Is stuff. Is he here in the US? He's here in the US. He works for an airline company. Uh, okay. Yeah. So um Watching him, I wanted to be like him. You know? uh, so to switch from engineering, I must say it took a lot of effort. Wow. It took a lot of a effort. lot of self -reflection. The passion for medicine had to overcome the passion for engineering. So it, it must have been to. a big one. Then. It's a huge passion. Wow! Wow! That's, it was that's, because of passion. That, that was that was remarkable yeah. because you know for me, I, I said it in some of my previous videos that one of the reasons why I ended up wanting to do medicine was because I just you know, had so much love for my dad. I'm yeah. sure yeah. what you have for your brother, where right, you wanted right. to be everything that yeah. he was, right? Yeah. <laughs> so at this point, you decided to want to do medicine. Obviously, you must have found something fulfilling about mm -hmm. medicine. So you eventually got into medical school, right? Right from mm -hmm. college. Mm -hmm. What was well, what what did you have to you know understand about the reality of mm -hmm. what it took to become a doctor? What did you start to get exposed to at that time? So at that early stage, before I even got into medical school, I because I had friends who some of them were already in medical school, and some of them were already also aspiring for medical school. Mm -hmm. I understood medicine was a lot more of hard work. No doubt. Than no doubt. your level of intelligence, right? <laughs> that's the that's the first thing they said. Whole lot more. 
Yeah, that's the first thing. It's not about being so, smart. It's yeah. not about being smart. It's about yeah. who can grind it out the hardest, <laughs> right? Okay. So I started developing the character. Okay. To to make sure that I was able to last through that journey, right? So in undergrad, I. I started in undergrad. Life wasn't easy, you know. Um, I had I had parents who were divorced, and mm-hmm. I was um, I was taking care of my mom. Oh, my. So I had to get I had I had three jobs. Oh my! Undergrad. I really want to talk about that. Yeah, like surviving, surviving. Because yeah. it, it's just remarkable, right? The amount yeah. of the amount of you know stories and what people have had to, to overcome to get to this stage of their lives mm-hmm. where it's easy for somebody mm-hmm. to see you and say, Doctor, you know, mm-hmm. if I and you know, mm-hmm. that that's something easy to say. Yes. But to get to that yes. point is yes. just so much. And it's you, something you're, you're a lot of to, people don't you're know. About, you're about to go through yeah. some of that. So yeah. underground, how was it for you? So I had I had three jobs. All right. I was working 52 hours a week. Oh my I God. was running like a mad a madman. And you still had to go to school? I still had to go to school. I was biology major. As far as for medical school, which means your GPA had to be very, very competitive, good, very right. competitive, you know. And when I took the MCATs, which was an exam to get into medical school, I still had those jobs, which was okay. a nightmare okay. because MCAT is a whole different exam altogether. You know? All right. So it was it was not easy, and mm-hmm. some of my classes were very early in the morning. Sometimes I had like evening classes. So it was it took a lot of discipline. I had to make a choice between uh, focusing on my goals mm-hmm. and sacrificing a lot of things that are not going to help me. No doubt. And either taking an easy life, which is to pursue some other career, yeah, and have the pleasure of having a balanced lifestyle just okay. like everyone else. All right. So my life was not balanced. <laughs> no doubt. A lot of this, because you know, it 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 it, it takes so much character building at yeah. that point where right. you're like asking yourself the question first of all it, it, for you it, it was about it was real genuine reasons you know right. that you it had to be genuine reasons for you right. to have left something you had real passion for, for right. like right. engineering right. to go into medicine yeah. and at that point it's like this is the work that I have to do to get there mm-hmm. and I might as well just suffer now and hopefully sometime hopefully in the make future it. <laughs> sometime in the future you might it. be able to you know get yeah. used to that right. and being right. stronger and be right. in a better position for yourself financially right. Right. Uh, professionally in so yeah. many other ways right right right, right. so um, for me it took a lot of discipline hard work um, sacrificing Time for clubbing, time for chill. Yeah, man. Something had to go. In the something back. had yeah. to go. Yeah, you know? so things had to go. Unfortunately, so, right, right. And plus, in undergrad, I, I, I didn't just take the regular courses that I needed to graduate. Yeah. I took a lot more courses because I wanted to one expose myself. Yeah. And plus the workload, mm-hmm. I, I had, I had um, most semesters I had 18-hour credit yeah. classes. Yeah. You know? Um, so in total, yeah. so um, that's a whole lot more. That that's higher than regular full time class. Right, because I'm, I'm I, I didn't go to school in the United yeah. States, so I really don't know what some of Those these things mean. But I'm assuming yeah. that this yeah, was something huge. extra yeah. than yeah. what a normal you know, right, student right. would have so had to do. So I will I will take. I had co- I had a, a, a semester that took physics, bio, bio, biochemistry, physiology. Uh, immunology and that's that's when that's when you didn't know anything in biology. Right? Oh my now God. it's like now it's like yeah yeah. I have, but, I have you know idea. so but then it was rough with those amount of hours. So I would always be in the library. When library is closed, I'm getting access to a building, within, or like a classroom, and I'm being by myself in the room studying. Oh my God! It's, it's, it, yeah. Again, it's it's it's, rough. It, it's, it was, it's such an individualized process. Yeah. I think where you know a lot of us haven't gotten to this point in our lives so i've been in situations where amongst a group of a lot of people who were those people that had to step out mm-hmm. you know had to lock ourselves in yeah. a particular room yeah. or go somewhere yeah. and it was it was such an individualized yeah. process unfortunately yeah. well fortunately uh, that's partly also one yeah. of character yeah. so you got into medical school realized that you know this is what it took you had your reasons mm-hmm. which were obviously strong mm-hmm. uh you accepted the fact that Know, it's purely about hard work. Mm-hmm. It's not just now about being smart. It's about right. who can right. grind it uh, uh, yeah. the, the hardest, right? Grind the hardest. Yeah. Right. So, 
you go into that, you finish medical school. Well, you are about to finish medical school. There's a lot of anxiety. Oh, yeah. A lot of anxiety oh, about yeah. <laughs> where is life going to take me oh, now? Yeah. This, you're thinking about the competitive, you know, environment when environment. it comes to getting yeah. matched in residency, yeah. especially in yeah. uh, the residency you're in. Yeah. How did you navigate that? How did you position yourself? How did you get ready for that? So, um, so there were like, there are different components to that. Yeah. One is the financial thing that you have to worry about, yeah. right? Which deals with the applications, yeah. uh, money for application, money for uh, this, money for that, living expenses. It. Tell me about it, brother. And if you are completely independent, and probably if you even have people dependent on yeah. you, it becomes oh, even my. much more of a problem. Oh, the second thing to worry about then was where to go. Where would I go? Yeah. Uh, do I want to come to New York? Do I want to go to Florida? What's important to me in terms of my family? Do I have yeah. to come stay close to my family? Yeah. It depends on a whole lot of stuff, you know? Yeah. So, like, the anxiety about application, uh, for me, it had a lot to do with environment and the finances. Oh, wow. Yeah. But thankfully, you made it through. Yeah. You're, you're doing, you're doing yeah. that initial, yeah. you know, extra yeah. grind you have to yeah. do in medical education yeah. hopefully, uh, hopefully for sure. after now it gets for sure. probably easier we don't know but probably easier <laughs> um at this point right you're you know in this field where you actually can you know practice medicine mm -hmm. even though supervised mm -hmm. what is what does medicine mean to you what gets you up in the morning what gets you you know feeling fulfilled as you go through this very tough journey. Everybody knows residency is tough generally. Oh my god, I have never had a day that I regretted by this man. Oh wow. Never. Sweet. Never. Sweet. I've had horrible days. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 had days that I felt very that's a con out. that's a constant, right? I've that's had a days constant. that they attended drilled a hole into my brain. That's and that's I a constant, stupid. my brother. <laughs> <laughs> that's a I constant, stupid, right? But what get, what gets you what gets you going? It's what, what, just what? that I just I love taking care of people. Mm. It's a passion. Hmm. I just can't deny myself. Of it. Mm -hmm. I love caring for people. I love taking care of my patients. Hmm. If I walk into a place and a patient is sick, hmm. and at the end of the day, I have that feeling of accomplishment that hmm. I made a difference. It's it's a feeling of making a difference in someone's life mm -hmm. every day. Hmm. Nothing beats it. And that's Nothing. what that's, that's what keeps you going. Up. That's what that's my energy. You know, wow. nothing beats it. Taking care of someone, mm -hmm. taking care of your patients, uh, taking care of being able to walk into a room. Mm -hmm. And when you walk into that room, you know quite well that the patient has this, 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 this problem. That. This is how but I'm when you try to address it in about 15 minutes, doesn't yeah. have to be the whole day. Yeah. 15 minutes after you leave in the room, yeah. you have this, this, this change no doubt. or ordered for the patient, mm -hmm. knowing that that make a difference in their life. Sweet. That's powerful. It, it is powerful because powerful. It, 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 it's good. we talked about it on the on the uh, podcast yesterday. You know, talking about the fact that everybody comes to work as a physician every day, trying to get self validation to right. feel like what you're doing no, no, is no. meaningful. Yeah, and a, a lot of people have a lot of reasons, but one yeah. thing that kind of serves as a foundation for a lot of us is the fact that yeah. you can really directly impact people's lives yeah. with your knowledge, with your yeah. your compassion, with yeah. your work, with your right. strength. Right. And I think right. that's that's powerful. Yeah. So, yeah. what's next for you? Next for me is uh, completing residency. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking about fellowship. I haven't right. decided completely. Yeah. Uh, possibly shooting for fellowship. Yeah. You know, and then uh, getting my hands into other things in life. Yeah. That I have passion for Sweet. cooking, sports. Sweet. I, I think it's important. I, I have a yeah. uh, hundred and one other <laughs> things that I try to get myself. But it, it, it complements what you do. Right. As right, far as you right. know, medicine doesn't right. take a back seat. Right. Everything you, you, you have to you have to have balance. No doubt. You have no to have doubt. balance. No doubt. You have to get into the things you love. Take care of family. Do all that. It right. helps with your mental state. Absolutely, you know, absolutely. You know, absolutely. Listen, I have no doubt that whatever it is that you decide to do your medical career and the other absolutely. side hustles that you if then you get yourself involved in you, you do great. You we have absolutely. a hustle, you have you know the passion, you have yeah. the discipline, the determination. I, I think everybody does. I haven't gotten <laughs> here uh, and I, I wish you all the best my brother. All the Thank best you. Thanks, Thank you for, for having coming me. Thanks Thank for coming. I appreciate Thank it, man. Bye. Yep. Hey.